Hi, I'm Melissa with SeemsLikeMelissa.com and today I'm going to show you all about this lovely little tool called a bodkin. It um, has some nice teeth that clamp shut at the front and it has a little ring around the back and you can slide it up and it keeps those teeth in place. And today I'm going to show you how it's going to make your life so much easier when you need to turn a tube of fabric right side out. So let's get some fabric. I just it's a two and a half inch strip right here of just scrap fabric and we're going to put it right sides together and you don't even really need to pin this because it's gonna be um, so easy to keep the line straight. So, let's start with getting our quarter inch seam allowance, and I just like to hold on to the ends of my threads but when I start things off, and we'll sew quarter inch seam allowance, and I just like to line it up right here with the edge of my foot, that gives me a nice even line. right there. So we've got our nice little tube of fabric and a lot of people will tell you just to take a little safety pin and pin it to one of the ends and um, flip it right side out that way but I find that safety pin can really be a hassle. So I have this little tool. I It's less than five dollars. It's probably three three dollars or even less. I don't remember when I bought it. <laughs> it was a long time ago. But I like to, when I have a tube that's open on both ends, I like to slide it in bottom end first and then I kind of bring the fabric up and over and tuck it into those teeth. So I clamp it down and I scoot that ring all up as far as I can get it. And then, instead of having this tiny little safety pin that I have to scooch, scoot my fabric all along, I have this nice, long, smooth piece of metal, and I get that started by just kind of pulling a little bit just over the edge, and then it just slides, just slides nice and smooth, and then you just slide that back down and pull your other end out and voila you compress your tube with iron and it'll be nice and crisp and that took me 30 seconds maybe and I'm going to show you how we can do say we have a closed end tube so let's get our other piece of fabric the corner if you're making a sash. So so now we we don't have our end to tuck it in. So first, obviously, if you're going to turn out a corner, you want to cut your ends. Cut the corners off, and that way you won't have any bulk sticking through. So, in this case, um, instead of sliding it down bottom first, I slide it down top first, and it just falls all the way to the bottom. And you literally do the same thing again, where you kind of tuck it in and pinch that fabric up and over. And if you want to just get a little bit started, do that. And then just, since this fabric's longer, you just kind of smooth it up as you go. But 
that infinitely easier than your standard safety pin. And as often as I'm turning tubes of fabric right side out, it's worth it for me. And I have this other really neat tool. This is also technically called a bodkin, and I just have this ribbon through it for hanging it up, but you actually can tuck your fabric into there to pull it through, but I like to use this ball point to shove it down into my tube and pop out my corners without um, busting my threads. So that makes a nice pretty end like so. And then you just press that with your iron and you're good to go.